name is with I'm from Yemen. Uh, my name is Tarek and I'm from Egypt. My name is Reem. I'm from Libya. My name is Shirsu. I'm from Turkey. My name is Alale. I'm from Iran. <laughs> my name is Avia and I'm from Israel. My name is Hakim. I'm from Libya. My name is Saif and I'm from Palestine. Hey, my name is Yuval and I'm from Israel. My name is Driss and I'm from Morocco. My name is Anya and um, I'm from Switzerland, but I've lived in Morocco since the age of three. Food. You have any food? Food. Food, I guess. I do miss the food. Food, mainly. The huge variety of views that we have in such a small country. We have rivers, we have deserts, we have forests. We have snow. The cultural diversity there is something that I really appreciate about Egypt and something I'm really proud of. And that we all share one thing inside us, even wherever we go, we just stick to our, I think what we call Egyptianity. I'm proud of the revolution. I felt that after, during the revolution a lot of Libyans were, were standing all together. And that at that moment I felt how precious Libya is to me. Because it's a revolution for peace and for our rights. My country's history. How compared to other military countries, Morocco is stable politically. Um, the culture, uh, the people, the feeling that everyone is belong and everyone together. Yemen is not a desert. People think it's a desert and it's not a desert how some European countries perceive our immigrants. <laughs> I'd like to change one thing. Uh, the way that like when I say I'm a Libyan, some people they just make a joke, they say, oh, tourist. I mean, I get, I get this joke sometimes, but like I've, in, inside myself, it's hurt me a lot. We are not tourists, you know, because like the Libyans, they are actually, they are not. I know, I know like the people in Libya, they are, they are quite, uh, respectful and they are friendly. Yes. I think we need to remember that in any conflict we have two sides. I think that the Israeli side suffered a lot. I have a lot of personal stories. I believe that everyone in the world have to need in general to to look for the ambition to see the full picture. I don't li like how people see Turkey politically, but I would like them to see it more culturally. They think that we are Arab and. Um the problems that we ha they had with Arabs. They don't think that we are that modern, that they are. The way that people think about the Libyans and the Arabs in the Middle Eastern, they think that they are like people that like bombing, and wherever you go you bomb, but it's not this, it's not. We don't do that quite often. Middle East is not a terrorist place. We do have conflicts, and that's normal. I want to be an engineer. Physicist is to be economist one day so I can fix the economy of my country. To be either a, te a teacher mm -hmm. and in a university so I would help like to, to finish like my, the mission of the EWC mission to the generations after me. I like to study something about psychology. I'm always saying that I want to study abroad and like mm -hmm. I'll probably not go back for university to Turkey but like when I come when I came here I realized that I actually really like my country and I really feel connected to it so I don't think I would ever be able to leave Turkey for now economy I want to be a politician but when I'm old when I'm like 50 before I want to do a lot of stuff in my life in the end but when I want to be a politician because yeah that's so important stuff that I want to change I can say whatever I want to say I can do whatever I want to do I can go out whenever I want to in the future I have plan to study doctor and come back to my country and help my society and my people. I hope people will be more initiative and I know a lot of people care but not many people actually do something about it. I hope people will understand that in one way or another we need peace. One day it will happen that Egypt will develop but I don't think it's soon. Enough. We have more rights and um, we will even be peaceful without settlements, without checkpoints, to be recognized by the, by the rest of the world. Um, the relationship of Iran and Middle Eastern to the other countries is not that 
well as it has to be. I hope that they change the worth of the woman in Iran and make it more than half of a woman, half of a man. There has to be a woman who stand up and tell people that not, not in Islam or our culture, our women's rights should be depressed. We should learn to help our next generations. We should, we should raise our next generations in an educated way to develop our country. Women are voiceless in Morocco and I really wish that one day they would stand up for themselves and gain that voice to protect themselves and to really make a change and a big difference in Morocco. And much more um, commun communal cities between Arab Israelis and, and Jewish. Um, I believe that people are going to be much, much more open. It's a process that individuals have to, have, have to pass. The situation in rural places improves, uh, mainly related to how the, the education works there, because most of the people in rural places don't even go to school because they work with their parents. Um, I also wish that the situation related to freedom of speech increases because there are three main topics we are not really allowed to criticize in the country, which is the king, the religion, and the last thing, uh, the conflict with the Sahara. The big problem with Kurdish issue, and I think that like sometimes we can be too nationalistic. The right balance between the, the, the religion to, to the democracy in the country because I believe that the ultra-religion people have much more power than, than they were supposed to have. We have the potential to live a decent life and to live like normal people and in peace and justice as well. So that's what I hope in Libya would be. The biggest things that I'm thankful towards Atlantic College is because of the fact that this place really teaches you to accept people for who they are, not because of what sex they prefer, not because of what religion they follow. And yeah, I would really hope to see that change happen, not only in Morocco, but I would really hope to see that change happen in the Middle East. <laughs>